Hello, everyone. My name is Bradley. Why are my words not coming out like normal? My name is Bradley. I have a Brad taste in music, and today we're going to be going over the worst songs of all time according to you guys. I asked you on a poll, and I got over a thousand answers. So, with that being said, let's not waste any time. Purpose of today to explore the other side of the spectrum. We checked out some of the best songs of all time, and I had a great time doing that. You guys had some amazing suggestions. Now let's take a look at some of the worst things that uh, the universe has ever gifted us listeners. First song, of course, by a verified man, Red is Dead, the guy who spams on Fantano's channel all the time. Uh, you know, which of course I do the same, so I can't really criticize. Yummy by Justin Bieber. Not only is the song itself agonizing, but it's just extremely bland, repetitive sounding. Like it's not trying to do anything unique, but the desperate attempts at popularizing it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah, I hated Yummy, but it was definitely like the Instagram shit where it was like, yo, let's, let's cheat the numbers up. That definitely set me off where I was like, okay, fuck you, Justin Bieber. Yeah, he was going the extra mile to get this shit to number one was uh, even more terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I present to you Yummy. Oh, wait, what's that? Is Pop Smoke? No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to play Pop Smoke. <laughs> This is uh, Yummy with Florida Georgia Line, the country remix. This is one of the worst things that your ears will ever touch. Here we go. Yeah, you got the yummy, Is that just hold on is that Justin Bieber doing that? Oh my god, it is Wow, like I don't like country music and it's insulting to me. You know what I mean? That's that's rough Oh my god Yeah, babe. Yeah, babe. Yeah, babe Here we go Pause, you hear this shit? Pause, let's go back a second. Do you hear this shit? Do you hear this shit? So, yeah, that is one of the worst songs I've ever heard by far. Uh, one, uh, and a beautiful example where the original, yes, you can give it a lot of shit and the promotion made it terrible, but this country remix, this is garbage. <laughs> Accidental Racist by Brad Paisley and LL Cool J has to be in the conversation here. Alpha Media did a great video on it. But I think the line, if you don't, don't judge my gold chains, I'll forget the iron, iron chains, what? what? <laughs> oh, all right, I get <laughs> Man waited on me At the Starbucks down on me I mean, I'll say one thing that the way that this was described, like, it's not good, but it is, like, after hearing the Yummy remix, okay? The way that he tiptoes around the issue is significantly better than someone like Tom McDonald. So, Brad Paisley being the professional that he is, is, while it is bad, is uh, not as terrible as some other people that I've heard do it. Grant McDonald. Yeah, the sound of the song also is okay. Here we go. I wish you understood what the world is really like when you're living in the hood. Pause. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, 
No. I'm already going to say... Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm going to say that I I already see some problems. Now I change the goal, but I'm still misunderstood. I wasn't there when Sherman's march turned the south into firewood. All right, look, it's really corny, but also I feel like it exactly it means well. So while I think the song isn't great, I think it's still kind of cute. <laughs> people living, people dying. We were supposed to die from the Mayans. Uh, hey. Uh, hey. Uh, hey. Maroon 5, I don't want to know featuring Kendrick Lamar. This song is so bland and uninteresting that it's actually offensive. The instrumental sounds like the most uninspired synthetic dance hall beat mixed with the Rugrats theme song, and the vocal melody is so incredibly unambitious. I cannot name one appealing ele element of this song, and it boggles me how Kendrick agreed to feature on it. And it also boggles me how horrible this feature is. Now, I feel like if you haven't heard this song already, uh, I'll, I'll play a segment of it, but, like, this song is, um, yeah. It does sound like Rugrats. I didn't really even think about that. It's bad, but is it as bad as the remix I made? This is not rap, this is not hip-hop. Just another attempt to make the voices stop. Gets the Brazil, Brazil. Yeah, so don't want to know sucks. Theory of a dead man, I hate my life. The music is beyond uninspired, your standard mid-2000s post-grunge trash. The vocals are insufferable, the guitar solo is genuinely laughable. Where the song really becomes higher level garbage is with the lyrics, which all read as a bunch of mild complaints from someone who's never faced adversity once in their life. I mean, the song opens up with the line, shitting on the homeless. <laughs> and another point of the song, the singer even claims that he hits underage girls. I've never heard this song, but I gotta say, you you got me you got me curious. So sick of the hobos, always begging for change. Pause. I already see some problems with this song. All right, I already see some issues. I hate all my wife. It's always up my ass. Well, pause. Okay, your wife being up your ass. That's. <laughs> I already see some problems with this song, all right? I already see some issues. Uh, <laughs> do you think there's a, a different way you can word that, all right? I'm <laughs> music. <laughs> oh, wait, here we go. I hate that I can't tell when a girl's underage. You know, I tell her she's got she's got a nice piece of ass. Then her daddy punches me in the face. I think I'm gonna end it there. I think I think that's where I'm gonna end it. I think that's where I'm actually gonna end it all, actually. Now I need to listen to something to cleanse my ears, okay? <laughs> The CEO of racism has officially been defeated. My lady, ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, my, <laughs> no, 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 you can't make me listen to this song again. No, no. Sorry. Birthday Party by AJR. There's nothing I find redeeming about it. It's all aspects feel so wrong to me on every level. I have trouble understanding how anyone can ever appreciate it. The worst part must be the lyrics from the underexploited cliche for, of the innocent perspective of a newborn of the world to just straight up saying that the color of one's skin is important to how they should be socially defined and should not be ignored through a whole lack of consistency. And super Dude, you are overthinking this shit. I don't know what the fuck you're even saying any <laughs> anymore. I can't not be furious anytime I hear an excerpt of it. Holy shit, this man is going in. 
And then there is the insult to all art, the example, the sample from Eraserhead. First of all, it's ugly. Second of all, it contradicts everything from the song previously he's trying to say. And third, the reasons that AJR pushed to incorporate it into their song is honestly just makes me despise as they represent as artists. It makes me question whether they should be considered as human beings. Uh, the song is everything that's wrong with modern indie pop. I mean, shit, I've heard the song. Look, anyone who hasn't heard this song who's hearing this description, you're probably curious. And because of that, I will gladly play a segment for you. Oh God, it already hurts. This hospital's got lots of crying kids. A minute ago, I did not exist. And it's always gonna stay this fun. Here's something you didn't mention. This song is one of the biggest, clearest ripoffs of like 21 Pilots I've ever heard. As this literally just sounds like stressed out. Like they don't even fucking hide their their ripping off here. Thing is, they're so quirky and original. That makes you wonder, wow, how, 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 how? But also, like, dude, the lyrics are so unlikable. Oh, and by the way, this next segment, I think, is, like, the best segment here. I think this is where they integrate some incredible vocal effects. It's like there's such a sour undertone to this whole thing. It makes you think, wow, you know, is the the song it, it's a contradiction because of how happy it sounds, but the lyrics are just so down. You know, I don't know where I've heard that before, but it just feels like that. You know, I, I, again, I don't know. They could have come from anywhere. I bet this Instagram's a load of fun. It's best to show the best of everyone. Coming to my birthday party, and that's just how it is. I will gladly volunteer that as being one of my least favorite songs I've ever heard. That is one of the most sour, unlikable, fucking bland, like, clear ripoffs of 21 Pilots, too. Like, that's the thing, is it just sins on every single degree and level. It is horrible. So, honestly, I think that might actually be my front runner. Oh, yeah, here, Accidental Racist. Here's this. Um, an abso absolutely god-awful country song that fails miserably to tackle the topic of racism just ends up sounding like a white dude whining about the fact that people think he's racist and also the LL Cool J might be one of the worst hip-hop crossover features, period. Yeah, everyone kind of agrees. Bad, but not the worst song ever. Let me... See, here's the reason I didn't think it was the worst song ever. It's because I've heard a song that does what that song does, but even worse, Okay. At least that song's trying not to be racist. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. <laughs> the chat's freaking. When I see somebody on TV take their stand on bending me. I think a Bible's freedom was not free. And I say, take a knee, my ass. I'll stand up for basically saying stop bitching stop stop complaining because you're black god nobody wants to listen to that so i think that's significantly worse than i don't understand racism but i wish i did meant to be dude every single song is a country song i mean i ain't complaining because i kind of agree but still Meant to be by Florida Georgia Line and BB Rexo. This is a prime example of genre blending gone completely sideways and something that has made me want to put my nuts. <laughs> okay. This was like the only song I put twice on my worst songs of the year list. And the reason was is, I, is because the song deserves it two years in a row. Meant to be is um, like country music so blatantly combined with trap music that it's disgusting. So, uh, I think I'm going to play my version, because I like my version better. It also emphasizes the, uh, the, the flaws better. Baby, relax, it's quiet for a reason. Just know that. some sub bass right there dude i used to not even sing the fucking i pledge or the i used to not say the daily pledge allegiance don't you know you're beautiful and that's easy to see here we go uh, 
Well, that's some hi hats right there. Next! Baby. Baby Shark. Usually one of the most annoying songs to hit the mainstream in a while. Every time I hear it uh, played or sung, even ironically, it makes me want to stab my eardrums with a fork. And yes, I know it's made for kids. Doesn't make it any less unbearable. All right. Baby Shark, huh? I don't really know what this is. Let's figure... Let's find out together. Oh, I think I know what this is. Ten billion views. Pause. Ten billion views? <laughs> Excuse me? Pause. Ten billion views. What the shit? Hey. I don't remember there being this kind of beat here. Drama. Whatever, some kid out there is gonna like this song. Fuck am I, I didn't sit here and give it shit. It sounds like some shit made for kids. Whatever, dude. The only trauma they're gonna have is that this is their first experience with sub bass. My first experience with sub bass was uh, on a plane when I was like six, seven years old. When I first heard, dude, it was like, I'm telling you, a kid touching modern pop music is like a kid getting his hands into the cookie jar, all right? My, I literally, my parents were telling me, you shouldn't be listening to this. And I said, fuck you, I, and I kept listening anyways, of course, at seven years old. It was that, I'm telling you, man. Modern music production in the 2000s, like, dude, I'm talking Rihanna Umbrella, okay? That was, like, one of the only songs I remember, but there was also probably, like, some Taylor Swift in there. Like, as a kid, this sugary shit was, like, crack, dude. So, the fact that this is their, probably their first exposure to that is, uh, sad that their, you know, that their lives will be now ruined forever. Anything from Logic Supermarket. Oh, let's play Lemon Drop. That's that. Yeah, Lemon Drop. Let's say that. I haven't felt anger like this in my life. It's bad enough on its own, but it makes me want to put my head through it. Dude, why does everyone want to put their something through something that will destroy whatever that something is? Uh, it's absolutely terrible. Yeah, so let's play some Lemon Drop here. No, it actually is totally a Red Hot Chili Peppers copy. Yeah, let's not. Next! The only correct answer is Jessica by Big Ball of Beat. Perfectly encapsulates everything wrong with modern music. Wow. That's hard to disagree. I'm still looping that shit. That was a song that I tried making is like one of the worst songs ever and ended up being like my highest rated song I've ever made. I, I understand why because I think it just captures the energy of just like fucking around in the studio really nicely. Like something to where when I try really hard with music, it you know, sometimes it just backfires. But this not like it's really easy to not give a fuck when you're not trying at all. And I think that that's one of the things that made this song so much fun to do. Chuckers. I wish I could leave the space I'm in. <laughs> Jessica, why, why did you leave me? <laughs> it's good why? shit, dude. Anyways, anyone who's heard that song, you know, go listen to the rest of it if you want, if you like what you hear. Death to mumble rap. Oh, this fucking song. Oh my god. Literally everything wrong with the attitude of fast rap equals lyrical genius. It's extremely cor corny, unlikable, and it came out in 2020, which makes it extremely dated. Yep. Besides some of the bars of straight trash. Yeah, this song is horrible. Yeah. Slow dicky. Big penis. <laughs> it's the best part. All right, let's go to Mac Lethal. Mac Lethal, fucking mega boomer here. His verse is easily the worst. And I am a gourmet fillet that's more tasty. I'm more crazy than a short lady trying to give birth to 84 babies in the very back. There it is. I'm more crazy than a short lady trying to give birth to 84 babies. Now, tell me what exactly does that mean? 
Mr. Mumble Rappers are garbage. What the fuck does that mean exactly? My, I, I figure, I think the case is now officially closed. Dance monkey, dance monkey, dance monkey, one more time. I won't, I won't lie, I actually managed to completely avoid this song 100% until Fantano's review of the entire, um, new Tones and I album, which I ended up reacting to, the entire thing. <laughs> it's bad, it's not good, and, uh, luckily, I think people have heard it enough to where I don't think I need to play it one more time. Not one more time. Maybe one more time. Here we go. Dance Monkey, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, this, uh, this song, yeah, the music video has 1.7 billion views somehow. I don't know who thought that the singing here was acceptable, but no, it's not. Yeah, no. Next! Let's move in gay and get it on. Let's move in gay and get it on. You got that feeling that I want. Let's move in gay and get it on. It's great. It sounds like fucking doo wop, Megan Trainer style fashion. Wait, pause. I didn't know there was this part. Wait, it turns into a fucking DJ Mustard Hey 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 segment? Well, that changes everything. I had no idea this was here. Well, now that changes everything, okay? That does indeed change everything. Dog. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm a banana by Onision. Why do I even want to... Why do I even bother? Why do we even live? Do we just exist to suffer? Okay, pause. I don't want to watch this. I'm going to... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mute it on my end, and I'm just going to send it directly to you guys so that you can listen instead of me. So, enjoy. Luckily for this list, I don't consider this to be a song. Black leather glove, no sequence. Buckles on the... There might be some other contenders by Drake himself, but Tootsie Slide is so foul to me. It's Drake doing what he does, appropriating music tropes and making mid-music. In Tootsie Slide, he jumps back to the TikTok trend, combining an ear-torturing song combined with the laziest dance to ever hit the viral market. And, uh, to get those big TikTok numbers. Music is terrible, lyrics are awful, flow is laughable, even the dance is dorky as fuck. But Drake is Drake, and this joke of a song is accomplished. Mission has got song huge. Okay. Here we go. And of course, I'm going to play my version of the song, which I like better. Vision. Anyways, television. Beautiful. Next. The, the hardest ever, Will I Am. This song is about the how hard the beat is when it's one of the worst beats ever made. And then pair that with Will I Am's awful lyrics. And then Mick Jagger shows up. <laughs> okay, all right, I, uh, I am very curious. <laughs> <laughs> Why not the music video copyright? Hard like hard like liquid swords. Harder than war while stadium tours. Will it survive? Never decease. I don't think I'm ever gonna rest in peace. I'ma kill a game, leave the rest in peace. Honey for my grandkids. That is indeed quite shit. Great example. Next! Birthday Cake by Rihanna and Chris Brown. I'm not sure this song can even be found it's entirely in its entirety anymore because it's morally reprehensible. Re the song doesn't just suck because it reunites these two a few years from the horrible beating by Chris Brown, but it also has them singing sexual euphemisms to each other based around birthdays and cakes. The production is also a night nightmare and for body, uh, forbidding, almost warning us about the danger that is to come. Everything about it <laughs> is about as nightmarish as, and uncomfortable as one could imagine. That's why I believe it to be the worst song of all time. You did a great job of convincing me here. Uh, 
<laughs> give it to her in the worst way, you say, huh? I'm gonna give that as contender of the wor worst aged song ever. Look, I like the song Ass by Big Sean somehow, okay? There's no way that I'm going to like that song and not, you know, enjoy to some degree. Cake, cake, cake. Okay, why am I getting spam here? Excuse me. Freaky Friday by Lil Dicky, you say, huh? By the way, my, in case anyone who hasn't seen the comments wondering, my uh, my example I gave was Earth by Lil Dicky. Freaky Friday, I mean, look, we just went from the Rihanna and Chris Brown to now Lil Dicky and Chris Brown. And it's bad for the same reasons as, uh, it's, it's basically like, I'm Lil Dicky, I'm not Chris Brown anymore. No one cares about my controversial past. Quote, controversial past which is not what it is at all. That's downplaying it so much and putting Chris Brown in the spotlight in a song that literally the beat sounds like it's designed to be a hit. It makes me want to die. A couple of my friends decided to play this in the car while my music taste generally doesn't align with theirs. I rarely actively hate what they put on. Without even listening to the lyrics, I thought the song was bad, but then I realized it was a song about how good it is to be Chris Brown. Yep, genuinely don't know, uh, don't understand how someone could think it's a good idea to write a song about how awesome it is to be a, a known abuser with a long history of violent crime. Chris Brown, how does this song even exist? And it got incredibly popular, it boggles my mind. The music video matters a lot, but it also is copyrighted, so, uh, yeah. The first time I heard this song was without a music video anyways, so... I think that actually, like, the song without the music video is so much worse, but this song is basically... Yeah, look at this. this all you gotta see is that thumbnail, and that's basically, wow, look how great it is to be Chris Brown. Amazing. Hey, yo. It's your boy, Lil Dicky. That's why... Also, I make that joke a lot. Anyone who's ever heard me, I hear a beat and I'm like, yo, it's Lil Dicky. It's because of fucking beats like this. And then I just say like Lil D, something like that. So, in case anyone's ever wondering. I woke up Chris Breezy. Oh my God, I'm the man. Got all these hoes in my DM. Yeah, I do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can say so well. Wonder if I can sit in work. Oh, here we go. Really here it is. See, it's funny because now he's black, so now he can abusively say the N-word as if, you know, ha 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 ha. Now, this song is really something special, but it's not better than my remix of the song. And yes, as you see, there's a pattern where if the song sucks, I've made a remix of it. <laughs> Don't ask any questions. So yeah, beat slaps. I do a good job with this shit. Made this beat from scratch, all right? A couple of loops in there, you can't tell. And then of course I censor it every single time. I think I did a good job with like the musical part. <laughs> so yeah, stream my version instead. Corey Feldman's We Were Together we want it change. Oh no, this song is a motherfucking classic. It sounds, it already sounds like a joke song, but when you realize the song isn't trying to be funny, I think enough has been said about Corey Feldman already. You have to hear this song to believe how bad it is. <laughs> it's impossible not to laugh, I'm telling you. Next! 
Yo, Soul Train, YBN Namir. It's so bad. It's actually one of the funniest songs I've ever heard. I completely agree with this. Fly my I can never give this song worst song of all time because the first time I heard this, I was laughing so hard. It's so funny. It sounds like something I would make. I love it. I love the song. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I'm going to actually disrupt the ratio. For me, it's got to be Stars by Fun. It's almost seven minutes of pure torture, and the last two to three mi minutes has to be some of the worst auto tune I've ever heard. It's genuinely concerning how they released this song, and whoever gave them the thumbs up should be sacked. I said it sounds hilariously bad. I was very curious about this one. Let's hear the last two minutes that are apparently the worst thing ever made. Okay, Kanye. He said the thing. One some nights. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fueled by ramen. The only label that will allow you to release shit that sounds like this. How you doing? I can give you good massage. I can be... Happy Ending by Hobson is simply unbear and unbearable to listen to. Racist, sexist, and it sounds horrible. Easily one of the worst songs I can remember. He released a really good song before this, and then he released this, and it was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I remember that. Then I had a friend in high school who uh, fucked with it. That was fun. Oh yeah, and then the video got taken off of YouTube. Asian, you totally love being objectified. Great. This song is a, a big fat L right there. I'm going to give that a red headphones. <laughs> White boy, Tom McDonald. I was talking about this one earlier. White boy, white boy, white boy. I cannot feel guilty for shit that I didn't do. It's not my fault that you're black and I'm white. Why? I'm, I'm not a slave owner. I don't own slaves. So why are you trying to paint me with the same brush? White boy, you're so bad. White boy, you wish you were black. White boy, yeah, white boy. Another song that, of course, I'm going to play my version of the song, because, you know, of course I have a version of this song. I cannot feel guilty for that I didn't do, but I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. It's quiet for a reason, of course. I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose. Go be proud that you're black, but don't hate me for some credit. I'm not the white devil, neo-Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger. You're so bad, white boy. You wish you were black, white boy. <laughs> Alright, my recording stopped. Thank you everyone for watching. My name is Bradley, as you know. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you like or subscribe or whatever the hell you want to do. I don't really give a shit, honestly. Uh, but, hey, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for coming back. And uh, if you want to see the, a sequel to this, let me know. Uh, leaving a like will let me know. Also, uh, let me know in the comments what you thought was the worst song of the video. I'm curious to hear uh, what you guys' opinions are. All right, that's going to be it for me. See you guys later. Peace.